Listen in and join the fun. Learning as we go, new words and stories. Adventures begun. Let's open up the pages. Don't have far to look. It's all in a book. Rupees. Reading room. Rupees. Why, hello, little readers. Welcome to Ruthie's Reading Room. I'm Ruthie, and I'm here with my buddy, Ja. He's my favorite stuffy, and he's joining us for story time today. Can I get a hooray? Can I get a high five? Yes. And what else? Thumbs up? Thumbs up. All right, everybody. We're all excited, and welcome to the first story time video of 2022. Happy New Year, everybody. We made it to another year. Awesome. And I hope you guys are starting strong. And I know you are because you're joining us in Ruthie's reading room for another story. Awesome choice. All right. So I'm going to ask that you go get your stuff, your blankie and a whole host of reading buddies. It's your last day before going back to school, right? Tomorrow? I think so. <laughs> At least my little ones are supposed to, but with COVID, who knows? So I'm going to invite you to run and go get your stuffy and blanket and a bunch of reading buddies. Bring along your parents too for this story. Run and come back now. Okay, I see my little readers are coming on back and so excited. I know we're in a new year. We're going to read a new book and we're going to do it all year long again. So keep on tuning in. Let's ask the question. First time for the year, okay? Which book is coming off the shelf next? Whoa, you guys were so loud and clear. We want to see which book we're reading, don't we? All right, let's see. All right, come on, Ja, you got it. Look at this. Look at the beautiful purple on the cover. It's my favorite color. Can you tell? <laughs> All right, let's read together. Olivia Lauren's Olivia Travels, a guide to modes of transportation. This book, can you read with us? Was written by Melissa Sue John, PhD, and Olivia Lauren and illustrated by Nikki. All right, awesome, take a look. And what do we see on the front? Yeah, different ways of getting around. We've got a hot air balloon, which funny enough, we saw in the last book of 2021 in Jayla's Jaunts, didn't we? Yep, and there's a little girl, and what is that? A train. What other modes of transportation do you know? Yeah, a car? Is that how you, a school bus? Yeah, some of you take a school bus. A, a rocket? Have any of you been in a rocket before? A real one? <laughs> awesome, guys. And when we dive into this book, we'll be reading all about different ways to get around. So let's do it, okay? Jaw's going to go in his reading spot. There you go. Can you see? Yeah, you can see from there. And let's get ready to read. Let's put our listening ears on and put our hands in our lap and we're going to quiet on down. Awesome. I think you're going to do it in record time. We're ready to read, aren't we? But I'm going to check. Okay. Got my magnifying glass. Look at all the faces. I love to see all of you smiling and excited about reading. Hooray. All right. Let's read the book. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I hear you. <laughs> All right. I won't make you wait any longer. Let's dive in to the inventors, innovators, and engineers who make travel possible to the drivers, pilots, coachmen, and captains who make travel accessible to the adventurers, 
explorers and voyagers who seek and enjoy travel. To Janet Reynolds, Shireen Walker, and Cheryl Gorham for assisting with editing. I'm Olivia Lauren, and I love to travel with my family. One of the best things about traveling is learning about transportation. The ways we travel are called modes of transportation. Let's learn about some of them together. I've never gone up in an air balloon. If only it could fly me to the moon. Imagine, close your eyes guys. Can you imagine flying up, up, up and away all the way to the moon? That would be so cool. Anyone fans of Despicable Me? <laughs> when Gru shrunk the moon? Yeah, my kitties love it. And so do I. <laughs> that was a good one. My sister and I fly every summer vacation. Airplanes are my favorite mode of transportation. Anybody love to fly? Have any of you been flying recently since we're a little bit more able to travel since COVID? I can't wait to get on another plane, but I'm gonna have to wait my turn, won't I? <laughs> we travel on an auto bus to view the city. The night skyline is always so pretty. My family rides our bikes for pleasure. I'm always on the lookout for new treasure. Is everybody listening? Does everybody hear that? What are we hearing? Rhyming words. Awesome job, Bradley. That's right. We took a tour boat far into the harbor. Don't be scared, said my father. Camels have been used for many years. They can carry the weight of two American black bears. Whoa, they're really strong. I often hear the cars beep like riding in my hot pink Jeep. <laughs> That's cool. Have you ever been to Toys R Us or a toy store and seen the little ride along vehicles? Yep, that's a popular one. In London, we rode on top of a double decker bus. It was definitely worth the fuss. Elephants were used as transportation before roads were made. If I ever get close to one, I hope I don't get sprayed. <laughs> With the trunk. <laughs> that's funny. We boarded the ferry to get a closer look at the Statue of Liberty. How they transported her still remains a mystery. My dream is to fly in a helicopter. Another name for it is a chopper. I went horseback riding at a fair. I rode a pony for a small fare. That means it only costs a little money to get a ride on the horse. I see the horse-drawn carriages trotting through the street. Here I am marching to my own beat. I like riding my hoverboard with friends. The fun never ends. Jets are faster than planes. Watch them take off from the planes. My uncle had a motorcycle he rode all the time. I can't wait to be old enough and then I will get mine. Any of you guys want a motorcycle? Ooh, all the parents cringe. <laughs> Wear your helmet, okay? And don't go too fast. Our legs make the paddle boat move on the lake. So to stop, you do not need to break. Astronauts travel in rocket ships to go to space. They also study planets and stars at the mission control base. There are scooters that require your agility. Others run on gas or electricity. Getting on the cruise ship was quite a trip. Daddy held my hand so I would not slip. I ride the school bus with my friends to school. Hands up, any of you? Oh yeah, a lot of you. <laughs> Just remember, stay seated is the golden rule. Yep, when that bus takes off, you don't want to whoa, go back. <laughs> we took a big white shuttle bus all the way to the terminus. Subways are usually found in a big city. There are none where I live. What a pity. The taxi cab took us to our destination, where we gave a special presentation. Trains, unlike subways, travel above ground. They are a fun way to move all around. We rode in a trolley through the Central Valley. The scenery made me feel really jolly. We had a family reunion at a very special place. We rented a van so we would have enough space. 
I hope you get to try all the different modes of transportation. Each mode comes with its own feeling of satisfaction. The end. Why, thank you, Olivia Lauren. That was awesome. We got to hear all about so many modes of transportation. High five for that. Now, how many of my little readers have been on five types of transportation that I read about? Can you think back and remember? Oh, yep, the bike, the train, oh, the subway. Here's some to remind you of all the modes of transportation we talked about. Whoa, there's so many, even one down here. <laughs> Good job. And maybe there's some on the list you'll be able to try as you travel or try new things. That's cool. All right, my little readers, thank you for joining us. Ja and I in Ruthie's reading room. Did you have such a great time? Yeah, because we definitely did. Now, what a great way to start 2022 with a book with all of you. <laughs> did you catch that? I made my own little rhyme. <laughs> I had so much fun with you guys. All right, so don't forget to check in the description below, right here. There'll be a link to where you can purchase this book and you can read all about the different modes of transportation as many times as you like. And then maybe you can say, hey mom, hey dad, nana, papa, let's get on a plane. I don't know, it might work. <laughs> all right. And if you enjoy reading with us each and every story time, please remember to subscribe, give us a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. We can't wait to read with you again. And remember, the best place to read is wherever you are with a book. Happy reading, little readers. Goodbye. Ruthie's read it.